as always. And there's Chris Bryant hey, thanks. on the phone, still in the Cubs uniform. And uh, there you have it. He has just been dealt to the San Francisco Giants. You see the warm embraces, number 17, a pillar in the Cubs history. And uh, we're going to keep you posted right here as things continue to unfold. A trade deadline day as KB wipes away the tears. An emotional day for a lot of people involved around these parts. A more Cubs Live trade deadline special. have it just before the wire breaking news from our own Jeff Passan and the Cubs now unrecognizable they have moved Chris Bryant reportedly to the San Francisco Giants We've talked about Evan Longoria but uh, go ahead Jeff it's your story I mean the Chicago Cubs have completely cleared the deck gone Anthony Rizzo gone Javier Baez to the New York Mets gone Craig Kimbrell to the Chicago White Sox and now gone Chris Bryant to the San Francisco Giants. The return is unclear at this point, but two hours ago, guys, I said that this has the chance to be a completely formative moment for the Chicago Cubs' future. And Jed Hoyer, over those last two hours, the president of baseball operations, has executed on that. He's gotten Nick Madrigal from the White Sox. He's gotten Pete Crow Armstrong, the young prospect outfielder from the New York Mets. And it remains to be seen who he got for Chris Bryant. But when you look at the amount of talent that the Chicago Cubs are compiling through this unburdening of themselves from these players, it's quite impressive. Yeah, three-fourths of the Chicago Cubs infield are no longer members of the Chicago Cubs. The third baseman, the shortstop, and the first baseman are all gone. All right, so let's positive spin it for the Cubs, the ability to change the entire culture, look of the organization, with the idea you could actually at the – offseason, bring any of them back if you wanted to. Well, compare it to what the Rockies have done in terms of handling Nolan Arenado and Trevor Story. That's not good. <laughs> right, exactly. And the Cubs, on the other hand, got value out of these guys before they walk out the door as free agents. And it was pretty clear in recent years, it became hard for this group of players to be the 2016 champions who, after that, were always perceived to have underachieved. And I feel like they really – needed to change a culture there, and they're going to get one. Right. They've lost 21 of the last 29 games. They've fallen hopelessly out of this race. And we always, you know, we got on the Phillies and then the Royals at one point for hanging on too long to the guys that helped them win the World Series. We love their loyalty. But in the end, the Cubs had to do this. And as Jeff said, they, they picked up some interesting guys in return.